guys, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Monday, and we are using your beat. But in the commentary today, I'm gonna get a little bit more in out of out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! The form. Of course, it's still live commentary, but I still want to talk about something. And uh, the thing I want to talk about and give my personal opinion on is these big YouTubers doing these Kickstarters, you know, trying to you know earn some money. Which is totally fine in my opinion, and I know that, you know, Mega Capital G and Vexicus are getting a lot of flack for, you know, doing these Kickstarters. And they're like, oh, well, we checked your stats on uh, Social Blade and you make all this money per year so you don't need my money, blah, 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 blah. And I'm wondering, like, why, why are people having this kind of attitude? It's not like he's forcing them to pay him money. It's not like he has, it's not like Vexkiss has a gun to your damn head and he's robbing you blind. No, he's just asking you, asking you, not even saying like, hey, you have to give me money. He's just asking you to go ahead and if you're willing, donate some money because he needs to upgrade his equipment. He needs to get some particular equipment and he wants to make his content better for you like I just don't understand how people are being so so you know just ignorant on the fact that it all comes back to them you know it's not like Vexicus is asking you money so he can buy himself a new car no no he's going to take the money that you gave him and then turn it around into more content for you like it's not that hard. It's not that hard. And I know for those of you who aren't Yugi tubers, we don't make that much. We don't make that much. Especially me. Especially me, alright? Like, you think, oh, Daniel, you will master a thousand subscribers. Look at all these views. Look at all these videos. I bet he makes a ton of money. That's the reason why he's doing it, because he makes a ton of money. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't make shit. Shit. I don't make shit. You know what? I make so little. That the only thing that I do with the money that I make on YouTube, the only thing that I do is put it in my PayPal and then once every blue moon, when I'm working on my deck in real life, do you target me? When your opponent's cards and attack, target that attack monster, uh, no, I'll chain, I'll chain, I'll chain, I'll get out of the way. So. No game. I'll occasionally, I'll be making my deck, and I'll go through my binder, and I'll be like, Oh, I don't have this particular card, or I don't have this particular side card, or whatever. And you know what I'll do? I will take that little bit of PayPal money, and if the card's still cheap and affordable, common, I need it, I'll go ahead and pay with my PayPal. Because that's pretty much all I do with it, you know? But, we don't make much. YouTubing, YouTubing, it's, it's free content. I don't get paid enough. If I was going to be such a... Does that play during the damage step? When your opponent declares an attack, attack target the attacking monster. That's during the damage step? Okay, whatever. Sure. I don't care. Sure. I, I, you know, I don't even care. I'm too busy talking about this to even care what's happening right now. So, sure. Whatever. I didn't even know that was during the damage step. Sure doesn't seem like it. Seems like when I declare an attack. That's when your opponent declares an attack. Isn't that an attack declaration? But whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's not even worth me arguing because I want to talk about this. So, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's free content. It's free content. This card is attack. I have use in one cover. Okay, well, I'm 60 50. Are you going to use your effect? This card is attack or attack. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard once per battle. This card gains 600 attack during damage calculation only. Okay, do you want to send something? You know what? This opponent is just like, attack, and then he's not going to do anything. Like, you want to crash into me, crash into me, and lose the battle. If you want to use your effect, use your effect. But don't just st sit there and look stupid. God. <sighs> anyway. It's free content. That's all I got to say. Alright? And I'm not going to pester you guys. I'm not. If you guys want to click one of my ads, shit, more power to you. I'm not going to say, hey, click my ads. I'm, you know, and... 
if you want to have ad blocker hey more power to you ad blocker is great but just know that you shouldn't hate on them or you shouldn't you know put them down when they're trying to better themselves by asking for a little bit of help by just and provide you guys with better content all right i hope that i never had to get to that point i really hope that i don't because I, you know i whenever i decide to do something or whatever i pay out of my own pocket all right this is a little spoiler but it'll kind of give you a general idea uh, i completely forgot about that whole mountain of them in fact it'll give you a general idea of the the, the you know what i go through for you guys all right so you know magicide ended i'm planning this new series but i said it was going to take a while to get together i'm not going to spoil what it is but it requires an hd pvr all right now, no, no, you know, flat gun Cali effect. I don't want you guys to go over to his channel and spit and, and bag on him because that's not what I want you to do. But in the past, me and the Cali effect wanted to get an HTPVR. So we decided to split it. You know, HTPVR, of course I draw you bell. HTPVRs are about $150 new. Uh, you know, we went on the whole, I uh, went on the Facebook thing. You know, someone was uh, selling the HTPVR for pretty cheap. Uh, you know, so we decided to go ahead and pick it up. We decided to go ahead and split it. Uh, you know, we were going to exchange it. Like, sometimes he borrowed it. Sometimes I borrowed it. You know, I bought it for a cool minute. Did that Blitz series, which isn't on the channel anymore. Because I just felt like the game got kind of boring. It really wasn't worth the trouble. Oh, I can't attack with Thunderbird anyway. What am I doing? I summoned Thunderbird. I can't even attack with it. That's dumb. Uh, and... Then he all of a sudden he wanted to borrow it, so I said, "Sure, you know, we we split it, we were sharing it. So sure, you can go ahead and, and borrow it. Of course, it's yours just as much as it's mine." Uh, he pretty much just Parma borrowed it, yeah. So I, uh, I never got to see the HTPVR again. I never got my half of the cut. You know, he's not like he was like, you know what? I want to keep the HTPVR. I'm gonna buy you out of your half. No, he just kind of kept it and then. When I asked him about it, he never contacted me back. So, you know, I'm not a fan of the Cali effect. I'm not saying that you guys should hate the Cali effect and go over and like it and dislike his video. No, I don't like him personally. And I know him personally. All right. I've known the man for eight years. And after eight years, I just got sick of his bullshit. So that's that's between me and him. I'm not saying, you know, hate on him. But the, the moral of the story is. I don't have the HDPVR anymore, and for this new series, I needed the HDPVR. I had to bend over backwards. I had to go on eBay. I've never done eBay before. I I have never done eBay before. There's some weird Exodia deck, but <laughs> uh, I've never done eBay before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, pfft. Doesn't really matter. At this point, I'm pretty much just gonna kill him just by attacking his monsters, but. Never done eBay before. I have. Oh, thank God. I'm, you know, I'm so glad that Mountain Down Creator does that extra thousand. Because if it didn't, uh, this duel would be such a stalemate. I had to go on eBay. I had to go on eBay and I had to try to bid or slash purchase an HTPVR for you guys. And it was not cheap. It was not cheap. I, was, I wouldn't say that it was uh, It was cheap. He's just, he's just going to draw into Exodia. Watch this. Mm-hmm. Allow me to wait while you draw into Exodia. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is boring. I'll get one more doing. I'm sorry, I don't like... Oh, 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 over and over and over and over. You know. Now it didn't look like an exile deck, now it looked like a pendulum normal deck, but still. Boring. Yeah. He he couldn't he couldn't have done shit to me because I had freaking Mound of the Bound and shit and he would have been up on resources so I wouldn't have to worry about Exiton, but still that was just boring and you know I'm trying to talk while also trying to detain you guys and that was just boring. Anyway, uh I ended up getting the HTP bar. It cost me eighty dollars. Uh and then, of course, to play on an HDPV, you know, HDPVR, what do you need? <laughs> yeah, an HDTV. Do I have one of those? No. Did I have to get one of those? What? 
I'm not going to sit here and watch you masturbate. Is that how you spell it? I'm trying to record a video and that was not entertaining. Overall, your whole, that whole duel with you was not entertaining, so no thank you. It was just Malefic Cyberman kicking your ass and then you setting monsters, so yeah. Really, bro? Really, bro? You want to sit here and watch me masturbate? What's wrong with you? Everybody likes to see me masturbate. I like to work it, and you got to sit here and watch me work it. Like, no, no, no. Oh, you MST my MST. You know, you actually activate the cards. You don't just throw cards into the graveyard. It doesn't work like that. But whatever. <sighs> so, yeah, I had to go get an HDTV. Uh, still boring. Uh, so, I had to get HDTV. My friend, who, you know, I was on, decided to go ahead and split it with me. So, we decided to go ahead and split the TV 50 50. And, uh,. Okay, good for you. Okay, what do you want, I'm fucking metal? How am I faulty? How am I salty? I'm not salty about anything. You are just not entertaining. I'm just sitting here. Wow, all three MSTs. <laughs> That's fine. That's cool. You can throw all three MSTs at me. I don't really fucking care. Yeah, look at that. Ba ba ba. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You gonna do anything? <laughs> huh? So. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm just like I said. If, if it was me just by myself, I'd sure I'd watch you do it. I'm just oh, let me think now. I thought I'm done, you know, just throwing three MSTs. Let me actually think. Let me instead of, you know, using my MSTs wisely, setting them, scaring my opponent, let me just throw them at you. Now I gotta think. If I was him and I opened up a three MST, I'd set all three of them. Cause that scared the shit out of you. That's, that's three back row. He, I thought he was gonna try to intimidate me, but instead he decided to just throw three MSTs at me for no damn reason. Okay, it's the best. Sure. Sure. Ah, no, there's no reason for me to set that. There's reason, no real reason for me to do much of anything right now, so. Go ahead and copy and paste that for you. So, yeah, I got the HTTV, got the HTTPVR, and we're going to try to get it together and get it to you soon. But, like I said, I paid that on my own money. And I hope that I never have to uh, get to the point where I have to kickstart. You know, because if it actually gets to that extreme point, then that would just suck. You know, but... Okay, so he's clearly going to get a tour guide, which is fun. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know why you had to think. I don't understand. Throw the three MSTs at me, set the Divine Wrath, and play them on the... Sure didn't look like you had to think. Went through a shit ton of resources, though. Anyway. It's just cool. I just don't like how everybody is burning and flacking and disliking all these people who are trying to do Kickstarters. 
because they provide you free content and when they ask you for help you want to get mad at them when all they want to do is just take your money and then turn around to more content for you I just I don't understand yeah. if I like a particular youtuber even if I don't like a particular youtuber I'll go ahead and uh, 101 <clears throat> <laughs> Nah, he ain't gonna kill it. What are you gonna do? Summon Dante? Still no point, and there's there's no reason for me to put in attack mode. There's no reason for me to put in attack mode. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay, okay, thank you. Shit. Don't fucking backseat door. I know how to play fucking you. I'm fucking evil mastery. If I want to put my shit in defense mode, I'll put it in defense mode. There's no reason for me to put it in attack mode. It's not like I'm going to attack anything right now. No? It's a safe reply just to put it in defense mode. I'm cool. Okay? I'm cool. I'll turn it into attack mode when I'm good and ready. You want to summon Dante? He can't do what? Oh yeah, Sid would die. No, it's effect is neg Oh, Sid would die. Oh, Seer is uh, destroyed. Yeah. Do you have any other Burning Abyss monsters? Okay. Well, this is entertaining. Oh my god. It's like watching the same thing over and over and over. God. I apologize if I can't get as entertaining to do it, but everybody's being boring. What now? Why? Why? So Zen mains can destroy me? Oh, I'm good. I can wait. I'm okay. What do you got? Tour guide? Oh my god, shut up! <sighs> that was fucking annoying. Alright, well, clearly he's gonna go tour guide to tour guide, so. And touch up. So oh, why, why the fuck am I looking at my deck? My bad. I misclicked the fuck out of that. I was gonna send. Like, oh my god. That's not getting fucking annoying. At least I don't have to worry about him MST me anymore, right? Right? Am I right? It's not worth my ultimate nightmare being destroyed for your damn Zen mains. I'm fine. I'll take care of that soon. But, oh my god. This nigga backseat door is fucking annoying. It's fine. I don't care. Sure. I'm gonna get a night start to his purpose. So I don't even care. <sighs> Please, can you hurry up? How about the end this video? It's boring. This whole video is boring. Everybody I do is Boring. Please, are you done with your turn? You attacked, you set. Are you done? Hmm. I attack him twice, I'd rip off two, you only get to pop one. He had to pop the mountain bound, or he could pop my back row, but then I could just summon. Ah, uh, but now then you bell wouldn't be destroyed. Eh. Eh. I said knowing him, he probably has something, so. 
But I can go ahead and activate this, then play Thunderbird, attack, attack, rip two off, and then he'll have to either destroy Thunderbird, which I can get away. He can't destroy you, Bell. He can destroy Mountain Bound, but I still have Ultimate Nightmare. Or he can destroy my back row, which I can always chain summon you, Bell, and then you, Bell, would be stuck on the field because it can't be destroyed because of Mountain Bound, which would be fine. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go with that play. Really? Okay. 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 Whatever, this duel's getting boring anyway. Go ahead and quit. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and leave. I'm done. Go ahead and quit. Alright, admit defeat and leave. Alright. Okay, there you go. Alright. So, yeah, there you go. Wasn't the most entertaining video, but still, I just wanted to make a point that... I just don't know why everybody's hating and disliking and, you know, being so hateful on these guys doing the Kickstarter. Kickstarter, because they're asking you for a little bit of help to provide you with more content. You know? Not everybody has the money to go ahead and dish out to provide you content. And you know what? I'm broke as hell, too. Like, oh, would you, and Daniel, you're broke? Would you just say you got that HD PVR and you said that you just got that uh, HD TV? I put that on my credit card. I put that on my credit card. That I got to pay back, of course, to make sure that I can cut, I can provide content for you guys. I'm broke. I'm broke. I can't tell you the exact amount that I make, and <laughs> because it's in my contract, but I make about ten to fifteen one dollar burgers per month. All right, so you know, ten to fifteen one dollar burgers per month. That's totally enough to live off of, right? Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. I don't have a job. I'm a full-time student. I'm going back to college. This upcoming Monday, actually, a week from now, I'll be back in college. So, yeah. And you know what the funny thing is? You know what the really hilarious thing is before I end this video? You know how I do this YouTubing thing? You know, free content. Working my ass off for you guys over 2,000 videos. Content every day. You know how I do that? And I don't make shit? I'm going to college to be a teacher. <laughs> that job doesn't pay shit either. So... YouTubing, being a teacher, clearly I don't care about money. It's never about the money. It's not about the money. It's about doing what I want to. And they're doing what they want to. I'm going to tell you right now. If Mega Capital G and Vector Kiss were so fucking rich that they didn't have to ask you for money and ask you for help, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They would be straight balling. And I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, uh, you know, Vector Kiss and Mega Capital G aren't driving around in a... <laughs> in a and a Lotus Elise, like Asian eyes, but, you know, we, we all make different amounts of money, and we all live different lives, but, you know, if you want to go ahead and support the, these guys, the yu tubers who bring you free content that you know you love, that you know you support, then go ahead and support them, and I don't even mean by giving the money, if you don't got the money to give, then, you know what, don't, if you don't have the money to give, you just don't have it, but be sure to support them, you know? If they want, you, if they request that you click an ad, that that helps them, that you know helps them live, makes them money, allows them to pay for the bills. Then you know what? Click an ad, click an ad. All right, you know, help help in other ways. Like the video, like the video. That helps. That helps. Gives me a nice warm, f fuzzy feeling inside when I see a like on that video. Don't let, don't dislike. No, I've never disliked the video. I have never disliked the YouTube video in my life. Cause you know why? You know why I've never disliked the video? Because even if I didn't like the content, even if I thought that the content in my head was crap and it was bad quality, even if that, you know why I never disliked the video? Because the person took the time to record the video, to edit the video, if it was edited, to render the video, to upload it to YouTube. And in my eyes, that is enough work to not even dislike. If I don't like it, I just won't like it. But I will never dislike a video. Cause that just means, that just says that I don't appreciate your work. I don't appreciate you doing that. And I don't even feel that. Someone could upload a video, a video titled, You Mastery Sucks Dick, and go on a big old tangent rant about why he hates me and why he thinks I'm a piece of shit. And I won't let that, I won't dislike the video. You know why? Because he took the time to do it. He took the time to voice his opinion. He took the time to do it. All right? So I'm saying, if you don't want to like the video, and you know, simple, just hit the like button. For your favorite YouTubers. 
go ahead once every blue moon go ahead and go into one of their videos and comment and say love your content appreciate you you're doing an awesome job give them that warm and fuzzy feeling i love it i love it when you guys comment i read all your comments all of your comments come to my phone so even when i'm not at a computer I will read your comments and I will reply to any comments that need to be replied to. But I appreciate it when you guys tell me that I'm doing a great job. All right. So right now, pause this video or you know what this video is about to end anyway. Go ahead. Go to your favorite new YouTuber, whether it be Nim Nim, whether it be uh, Underworld, whether it be even me. Go ahead. Go to the video and comment and say, I appreciate you. Thank you for the free content. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Just support them. Support them like they support you by giving you this free content. That's all I'm saying. So I hope you guys understand this message. And I just wanted to go ahead and give my two cents about this whole thing. This whole Kickstarter thing. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for all the support. And I really do mean it. Thank you guys for all the support. All of you guys who support me, thank you. Thank you. Because I wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you. Thank you. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Plague Let's You Bell. Thanks for watching.